your girl, Stephanie Pearl. What's oh, happening? Sheesh. Longest week ever. I kid you not. Welcome to my happy hour. <laughs> All right. Well, today I have something that's pretty well known in most bars. And, you know, who doesn't like a little bit of a drinky drinky on Fridays? You know what I'm saying? It's been a long week. So today I am actually going to be making a sidecar. For those of you who don't know, a sidecar is basically made with cognac and also triple sack. But you can also use Cointreau, which is a really rich perfume flavored um, orange liqueur, which is kind of like a premium sort of liquor. So if you want something that's a little less harsh than triple sack, then use coin drop. So today what you're going to need is any type of cognac of your choice. And today I chose Tassica Bassier. Mm, Tassica Bassier. <laughs> Everybody remembers that song, right? What's the rhyme? Anyways, um, I have a basic Cavassier VSOP that I'll be using. However, you can use any type of cognac. So Hennessy will do, which is, of course, everyone's favorite nowadays. Um, also, you're going to need some lemon. So I always use two just in case. Um, you never know if you don't get more juice out of the other one. You never know if you're going to have enough, right? Not every lemon has enough juice these days, I swear. It's like it's fighting to find which one's the softest in the grocery store, and it's so annoying. <laughs> then, of course, you're going to need a knife. I'll behave. I know I'm Puerto Rican, but I'll behave. Right? <laughs> then, um, also a lemon squeezer, a real lemon. And for your other liquor, you're going to need triple sec or, again, co um, coin trial. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just using what I have at the moment. Then, of course, you're going to want something to garnish your drink. And that would be some yummy sugar on the rim. Oh, amazing. Who doesn't like to drink their drink? and taste that super sweetness around that rim you know when you have a nice good margarita and you see people kind of just like <laughs> licking the rim all the way around until there's no more sugar well yeah that's this is one of those drinks <laughs> and um shoot definitely have some ice I'm going to ice over here. Your cup ready, which um, there is a story behind this cup. One of my dear friends on one of her birthdays hijacked this from a restaurant, and I have it. Somehow it ended up in my car, and, yeah, now I use it, and I love this glass. <laughs> so thank you, girl. I'm not going to put you on blast, though. She probably sees it right now. She's like, oh, my God. <laughs> also you're gonna need a shaker okay that way you can shake your drink and then I wanted uh, again I always forget something because I'm always running around right so give me one second because I need a shot glass <laughs> one shot glass ladies and gentlemen Ooh. All right. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. That was quick. At least I'm organized and I know where all my things are. So shot glass, just in case if you don't have the proper measuring tools in your home, this is necessary because you just can't eyeball it sometimes unless you're a bartender. You can eyeball it when you're a bartender. You do it for years. It's It comes natural, you know? <clears throat> so 
that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start that drink for you. Woo! Get this Friday happy hour started correctly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, um, a lot. Of, well, first off, a lot of people don't know how to cut lemons or lime. So I'm going to show you the correct way to do it. So you're going to take your lemon or your lime, right? And you see how it's pointy on the sides? You're just going to cut each side. All right, put that aside. Little bartending tricks, okay? So you see I've cut my lemon on each side. Then you're going to turn that bad boy just like that. Cut right through the middle. Turn that over. Then you're going to slightly cut through the middle. And again, the other one slightly cut through the middle. And again, this is if you want, you know, nice pretty garnishes for your drink. And then you start to cut your slices. And that's how we do it in the bar, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see that? Yeah. Yummy. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to put that aside for right now. And then I'm going to show you how to sugar your rim. Me, I just go ahead and take one of those lemon wedges, right? And I'm going to rub it around the glass. Okay. I'm going to rub it. Make sure there's enough juice on there. Put that aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my plate. And I did this in advance. I just put sugar around the plate, as you can see. I know I have a very clear dish, <laughs> but I know you guys can still see it. So you're going to take your glass and you're just going to twirl it around. So make sure you get enough sugar on there. Yes, indeed. And again, yes, that's how we do it in the bar. Of course, this is my version from home. Because we have containers for that in the, at the bar. <laughs> so there you go. You have your sugared rim. Ah, looks beautiful. And then I'm going to also take my piece of lemon. And I'm going to set it there on the drink. There's no drink in there yet, but I, I'm getting to that. I am getting to that. <laughs> so I'm going to set that aside for a moment. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and what am I doing? <laughs> Grain farts. Grain farts. I'm going to take my mixing cup. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, my Cavassier VSOP. And I'm going to do an ounce and a half. Okay, and two really quickly, um, I am forgetting because I wanted to kind of school you guys a little bit on the differences of cognac. So in the bar, you have cognac VS, okay, cognac VS. So if you have your Hennessy VS, it's normally aged for about two years. And if you have VSOP, like Hennessy VSOP, that's actually aged four years, which, of course, the price kind of goes up as you order the good stuff. Yeah. Then you have um, Napoleon, which is aged for about six years. And then you have Cognac XO, which is way over the top expensive you're gonna probably spend around two hundred dollars for that type of bottle um but it is aged for about 10 years so if you're looking for something yummy you're obviously gonna want to go with something that's aged a lot longer but if you're trying to stay within range cognac vs hennessy aka hennessy vs that's fine i have my cavassier VS, it'll work just fine for a sidecar. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna pour myself an ounce and a half. So one ounce is actually right to the very top of the shot glass, 
I'm going to take that and I'm going to pour my kvasi into my mixing glass. Okay. And my half, which is the whole bottle, right? Yeah, basically. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and take about a half an ounce of triple sec or coin trail, whatever you have at home. I would say coin trail because it's a lot smoother. And you have that like really nice smooth orange flavor. So let's say if you don't have any lemon wedges for your drink, you could also use orange as well. Just so you can kind of spruce up that orange flavor in the drink. So we're going to do a half a shot of trip sec. Alrighty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do about a half an ounce of lemon, lemon juice, freshly squeezed. <laughs> I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this one out. See how much I get of this. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. You know, things are always crazy with me. Never a dull moment. You know, especially when you're in school trying to finish certain things up. Never a dull moment. <laughs> I'm going to try to squeeze out some more because that just wasn't enough, to be honest with you. So I'm going to use the pieces that I actually sliced. And squeeze that out. And let me tell you, get a, get one of these because... You don't want to squeeze by hand. It's so annoying. So annoying. Make sure you turn it to the side because it always ends up having extra juice. But I think I have enough now. So a half of an ounce of my freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mm, fabulous. And of course, I didn't really want to fill this glass because I'm not such a cognac drinker. However, a sidecar is a little different. It's very smooth. It's, uh, it's fantastic. If you're at dinner, definitely order one because it's yummy. I know other, uh, other people actually may make it a little different, but this is one of the ways that I would normally make it. I'm going to go ahead. Philip. My cup with some ice. Oh, yeah. Not too much ice today. Don't want too much of it, I guess you could say. And then you're going to put some in your mixing glass as well. Let me tell you something. Cognac. <laughs> That's one liquor that if you get it on your clothes always smells the same even if there's other things that are mixed with it you could always taste or smell the cognac oh. so go ahead and take your drink i hope you guys are actually enjoying this setup a little bit better i was filming from my kitchen but it just wasn't working for me. It really wasn't. And um, here I'm able to kind of sit down and show you exactly what's going on over here. And you can also see my face up here. Oh my God, I almost dropped my drink. <laughs> that would have been bad because I only had one little small little bottle of uh, Cabassier, right? I'm gonna go ahead again, shake it up, and then strain it up. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Check my drink out, baby. Woo -woo. Oh, my God, Lord Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your sidecar. Oh, yeah, my sidecar. Oh. Now. It's time to try it. 
I haven't made a sidecar in so long. I mean, wow, it's been a couple of years. And again, not a lot of people ask for it, ask for it. And if you're at a bar and you offer it as a signature drink, that's when people normally order it. But normally here, especially when you live in the Bronx, a lot of people don't wear that. They're just like, yeah, give me some Henny and Coke, Henny Red Bull, Henny this, Henny that. <laughs> or Bacardi and Coke. It's very simple. <laughs> but it's interesting how you go to different places and people order things are, I mean, things that are just completely out of the norm, right? All right. So it's time to try how this came out. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mm. Oh my god. Delicious. Oh. Again, I'm not a cognac drinker, but it's like the perfect blend that you can have with cognac. <laughs> This is something that you can definitely sip on all day long and probably get intoxicated. She better have it be a DD. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone on the other side is, in, is enjoying a drink or having the opportunity to create one of these with me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Excellent. Whoo. It's going to get litty over here. Dangerous. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my virtual Friday happy hour. Oh my God. It is such a pleasure to have you guys tuning in and watching. Stay tuned for my adventure of next week's episode with cocktails and conversations with Stephanie Pearl. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and I'll see you same time, same bad channel. <laughs>